is one. All right. So let's do a quick little uh, reminder here on. So a quick little reminder here on how to find the amplitude in the period. So I know I briefly went over how to find the amplitude in period, so I'll make sure I go through this as best I can for you, Wesley. The first thing you guys need to remember um, is our amplitude is equal to the absolute value of A. All right, so then we need to say, well, what is A? Well, I wrote out the sine of X if, if you guys remember those last period of notes, I said, well, here our general form of sine of x, let's say is sine of x, right? That's with no transformations. That's your original graph that you guys uh, wrote out. However, if you want to write it out with the transformations, we write a sine of x, sorry, a bx minus c plus d. And what all those A, B, C, and D do are tell you all the possible ways we can transform our function. All right? So for right now, if I look at it, I can see, well, my A is now going to be 3. So the amplitude is going to equal the absolute value of 3, which is 3. So that means the height of my graph from the x-axis up and down is 3. And I think if you look at that graph, it shows it to you, right? So you can just double check that. Is that exactly what it shows? Yeah, yeah okay. The height from the x-axis up to my maximum and, my, and down to my minimum is 3 units. The next one, we need to figure out what the period is. So there's actually a formula for your period, and that is 2 pi over b. So here, what we need to do is, remember, period tells us how long it takes for our, our function to complete one cycle, right? Because these uh, functions go on and on forever. It keeps on repeating the same cycle. Well, and then I go and look at, all right, what is my, what is my number in front of uh, x? You say, well, it's, you know, 2. So I say my b is 2. So I have 2 pi divided by 2. Well, now my 2s will cancel out, and I'm left with pi. Pi. So now I'm going to check the work. So what that says is my graph, I now, instead of going up to 1, now it goes down to 2, right? So like this. And then it should end at, even though the graph keeps on going on and on forever, the first cycle should end at pi, right? That means it completed one revolution at pi. And is that what the graph shows for you? It just goes on. It does go on forever, but you, like you notice, this is now it's at from here to here, it's completed one cycle, right? Well, what technically is one cycle? But like on our graph, it doesn't have the dots. Okay, right. You think? Does anybody have general questions on this one? Just at least how to find the air, the period, and the al altitude. Amplitude, I'm sorry. Um, another problem you guys like me to do. Number three. Number three. Okay, so you, can we just look? I 